Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about um, uh, setting up Hadoop uh, on uh, seven node uh, clusters. All the seven nodes are provisioned from uh, AWS. And uh, as part of this video, I will cover uh, uh, how to set up MySQL. Uh, MySQL is required for different purposes. You will understand when we actually talk about uh, um, talk about setting up uh, the components which are dependent on um, MySQL such as Hive, Impala, Uzi, etc. Okay, so for some of the components, um, uh, a relational database is required. For that purpose, we are trying to set up MySQL uh, as part of this video. For the code base, you can go to my GitHub account. In github.com slash digazraju, there is a repository called code. In that, there is a directory called Hadoop, administration, Cloudera scripts and here you, you can see set up mysql.txt and we will um, uh, set up few of the component um, uh, we will execute all the uh, commands uh, till here to validate that we can actually connect to uh, mysql database after with the installation and setting up the secure installation so this is the command which you can use chem minus y install mysql server and i am installing on master 01 uh, so master 01 will be the host which will have the mysql database up and running and uh, when we actually add components to the hadoop cluster um, such as high uzi etc the database uh, um, on on the mysql installation in master 01 uh, will support those things so this is the command m minus y install mysql server it will install the mysql server for you so now the installation is done we can start mysql database service mysql d start it actually created uh, it, it actually started the mysql server and we have to run check config mysql d on so that mysql database come uh, come back up and running on the reboot of the server okay on top of mysql we need to install mysql connector also if you want to use jdbc to uh, to connect to the mysql database so this is the command which we can use m minus y install mysql connector java and hit enter so it has uh, uh, so it is successfully installed in some cases it might fail um, because especially when we are using centos um, they, they, uh, if if uh, uh, if it tries to install MySQL connector uh, by connecting to Cloudera repositories, uh, it will try to install some dependencies related to JDK 1.6 and it will fail. If it fails, in that case, what you have to do is you have to go to this location cd etc m.repos.d. So, this is the location. Go to that location and uh, run gzip command on all cloudera dot repo files so that it will not try to uh, install from cloudera repositories okay and then uh, once it is uh, uh, gzip then when you run the command uh, mysql uh, m install mysql connector java it will install without any issues now we have installed mysql uh, and also mysql connector and also after installing connector make sure you unzip those cloudera repo files so that in case if you want to upgrade uh, cloudera um, uh, again you can actually access cloudera repositories in the uh, in our local m repository server however now mysql server and mysql connector uh, are installed and also mysql database is running 
we can validate by saying service mysql d status and now we have to run this command slash user bin mysql underscore secure installation so what it will do is uh, when you actually set up uh, mysql it will be set up with uh, uh, default user called root and you can connect to mysql hyphen u root like this and you will be in the database and it will not prompt you the password so you will be able to uh, log in to the mysql installation only as root to user only from that server so for that uh, which is not uh, very secure so for that you have to uh, use the sec uh, you have to run uh, uh, you have to install a secure installation okay and so the sec the way you can run secure installation is by running this command user bin mysql secure installation and hit enter so when you actually do it for the first time root will not have the password hence we have to hit enter for none yes i want to set the root password and y is default that's why it is in cap and n is small so either you can say y enter or enter it will uh, try to set the password give the password you want i have set the password you can remove anonymous users again it's yes i will leave it as default i also have shown you what what need to be typed here okay and disable root login remotely so if you if you leave it as default then you will not be able to log into the mysql database as root from any other host than this one so typically in production we will not open up the access for root on the other hosts but here i am opening it up that's why i have to say n if i say n then it will allow root login remotely so now i can access root login even remotely and uh, there will be a remote uh, uh, there will be a test database and i want to remove it so hit uh, y and enter uh, yes um, after any major ddl changes we have to reload privilege tables in mysql which is default just hit enter uh, yes is default for that question also now the mysql secure installation is done now if i say mysql new root and hit enter it will not let me to log in instead we have to use this command which prompts for the password now if i give the password it will log in so that is the purpose of the mysql secure installation okay and uh, uh, let's create a test database to make sure uh, it it works as expected i am just creating a database called cards okay so this is the command which will create a database in mysql mysql is a multi tenant database uh, hence you can actually uh, run uh, 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 create multiple databases uh, so create database cards will create one database for you and then you can uh, create a user i will create user by name cards user identified by password i am giving it as itversity and hit enter once the user is created you have to grant permissions to that user over the databases the way you can grant all permissions is by running this command grant all on cards is the database name dot star to cards underscore user and hit enter okay and now flush privileges so that uh, uh, the data dictionary is updated um, as per the changes we have done flush privileges uh, is one of the good practice when you actually do uh, major ddl uh, commands uh, in mysql now exit once we create the database and the user we have to validate by using mysql hyphen u and the user name is car cards underscore user and hyphen p to prompt for the password itversity is the password which i have used and i have logged into the database and to validate whether we have access on um, 
whether cars underscore user have access on uh, uh, cars database or not you can run show databases and it will list the databases on which the user cards underscore user have access so information underscore schema is a uh, data dictionary schema which contains metadata of uh, uh, of mysql databases so uh, almost every user will have access to information underscore schema and then cards is the one which we have created and granted as per, uh, previously and uh, uh, cards underscore user have uh, privileges on cards also so we can actually say use cards hit enter show tables because we have not any uh, create any tables uh, it is not listing anything here so this is how you can actually set up the mysql database we we just uh, you use m to install mysql database and also we have uh, installed connector Connectors will come into picture when we actually set up high Uzi, etc. We will again validate at the time. And uh, that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. And this uh, MySQL will be used for uh, uh, Hadoop components such as uh, uh, high uh, Uzi, etc. And also, we will use the same MySQL database to copy data from this MySQL into the um, into the uh, HDFS using scope Okay, so if you like this video, please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback Please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications Please join my LinkedIn group called IT University hyphen certifications if you want to uh, and uh, Discuss further about big data or Hadoop please join my link, uh, LinkedIn group called IT University hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so and also uh, visit my channel page and if you live in countries like US and UK where uh, uh, fan funding or support this channel feature is uh, available uh, please uh, uh, you will see that under the subscribe button on my channel page and you can uh, fund whatever amount you feel uh, um, uh, is feasible for you okay thank you bye